Today's top story, the new dress code has students in an uproar and parents confused. More on this at 11. Welcome back. As we close in on tonight's story, we pose the question, how short are short pants? To answer this question, I have Chip Chippendale and Tom Selleck, and also our very own lovely Anam Ahmed. Uh-huh. First, we go to Tom Selleck for his input on the story. Thanks, Kale. I'm here today to tell you that recent studies have found that the most sensual part of a woman is her upper thigh, which is clearly exposed in the shorts these girls are wearing nowadays. I have two twin sons who are in the same geometry class, and lo and behold, they sit behind a girl who they tell me wears shorts, shorts every day, and their grades are D's. They have D's in this class, and it's all because this girl is distracting them with her upper thigh. I mean, what's to be done about this? I'm going to hold the school, re the school authorities responsible, the parents responsible, the principal responsible, the whole darn government responsible if I have to until my kids' grades improve. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. Now we go to Chip Chip and Dale. Chip, Lou, Tom, I hate to disagree with you there, but I think, from what my girls have been telling me, there are no short pants. Where'd they all go? I don't know. But frankly, I can't find them anywhere. And I think we just shouldn't buy, if they're not at stores, we shouldn't be asking girls to wear them. Frankly, I think this whole thing is preposterous, and they should let girls wear whatever kind of pants they want. As long as they're, you know what's are hanging out, what's the big deal? Are you ready? I love enforcing dress code. Stopping any lesson to see if a girl's shorts reach your fingertips isn't creepy at all. I do it to strangers too. Now that the school board made it official, no more teaching for me. Required curriculum takes a backseat to hussy teens any day. Very insightful. And now we go to our very own gorgeous Hanam Ahmed. Hanam? Uh huh. Thanks. Good input. What's that? What's that, Lynn? My producers are telling me we have to go live to breaking news. Apparently, there's someone going around calling himself the dress code killer, and we're going to take you to live footage right now. This is live footage, not a reenactment. Watch as the dress code killer strikes. Powerful stuff. I've just been informed that a few minutes later, the dress code killer shot himself because he realized that hoods were also against the dress code. So, Nam, I guess you could say that this story has been very well covered. <laughs> Good one, Kale! <laughs> <laughs> Word from our sponsors. Oh hey, didn't see you there. Are you tired of your students violating the dress code? I know why. That's why I invented Bullies for Hire, an agency dedicated to making sure that your students don't have self-esteem to dress like sluts. Bullies are professionally trained and state certified with a 95% success rate and only a 5% suicide rate. We're a bullying agency in America. We're the only bullying agency in America. Shorts. Yeah, what a slide. I'll never wear shorts again. Oh. <laughs> Buy one bully and get the second half off. So call us today at 555-55-BULLY or online at www.bullyforhire.org. Visit us at www.policeforhire.org.